and they're off in the Robert B. Lewis. Wipe the slate, flies out of the gate. Medina Spirit on the inside. Parnelli is in between them up close too. Then it's Spielberg and Hot Rod Charlie. And the trailer is Roman Centurion. Into the first turn and Medina Spirit intent on making the lead and does so in front three quarters of a length. Parnelli between and wipe the slate on the outside, takes second. A gap of four. Hot Rod Charlie is next just in front of Spielberg, and another two to Roman Centurion. Onto the backstretch in the Robert B. Lewis Stakes. And it's Medina Spirit dueling with Wipe the Slate. Parnelli has backed off, three off the leaders. Another two, Hot Rod Charlie starts to gather a little bit of momentum. He's racing three in front of Spielberg and Roman Centurion. A half mile from home. Medina Spirit puts a length on, wipe the slate. Parnelli trying to come back for more. Hot Rod Charlie in striking range. He's two and a half off the pace, coming to the three-eighth pole. Spielberg, yellow cap at the rail. Roman Centurion outside of him. Medina Spirit has a one-length lead on, wipe the slate. On the outside, Hot Rod Charlie, Roman Centurion is starting to gather some momentum on the far outside. He's moving up to take second as the field turns for home. Medina Spirit called on now. Center of the track, Roman Centurion. Hot Rod Charlie is in between them. Roman Centurion, Hot Rod Charlie trying to run down Medina Spirit. They're inside the eighth pole. Between horses, Hot Rod Charlie, Medina Spirit, tough as nails. Roman Centurion on the outside. Roman Centurion, Medina Spirit, and Hot Rod Charlie. What a game victory from Medina Spirit who set the pace and turned them all away. Roman Centurion and Hot Rod Charlie in an exciting renewal of the Robert B. Lewis. Medina Spirit, all heart in today's Bob Lewis, trained by Bob Baffert and Bob. Who did that uh, performance remind you of? Uh, that reminded me a little bit like Silver Charm. You know, he had every reason to, uh, to give it up, lay down in the stretch, and those horses came to him. I thought he was beat, uh, but he, uh, he fought on, and uh, he really is not as tired as I thought he would be. But uh, I think today we saw that, you know, he got caught up in the speed duel, and we, we were afraid about the one hole, and I was hoping he could just get back off a little bit. But we're... We're, you know, we're going to work with them, learning about the horse. And races like this, you know, it gives them a good foundation. And so that's why I decided to run him here. I'd rather run him in a race and keep breezing him and breezing him, getting him ready. So I, he's going to get a lot out of this race. But uh, I think you have to take him pretty, pretty seriously now because those are two good horses that he beat. And um, so I'm re really fortunate. What can you work on with a horse like this moving forward? Just keep him healthy, you know, just keep him healthy. And... Um, those, those horses, I thought for sure we're going to get, get by him, but he wouldn't let him by, and, and he came back, and, you know, he wasn't as tired as I thought he would be. And it's a very tiring track. He went really fast early, but uh, he showed that, you know, he's got, he had the qualities there, and, um, and it's nice to win the Robert and Beverly Lewis because, you know, they mean so much to me, and so it's, uh, I'm just glad that uh, I would have liked my other horse run better than he did, but uh, those things happen. Well, job well done, Medina Spirit. All heart today in Thank the Bob you. Lewis.